But let's uh, reflect now that the US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, also saying that China may be supplying weapons to Russia for that war in UK. And let's speak to the Executive Director of the Henry Jackson Society, Dr. Alan Mendoza, joining us. Uh, thank you very much for your time, Dr. Mendoza, once more. Um, this would be a major um, change of uh, the, the sort of balance uh, in terms of what people are saying is a new Cold War. Yes, absolutely. If the Chinese were to now take a stand and actually join with Russia in this war on aggression on Ukraine, on the free world, of course, it would uh, mark a fundamental shift in how we would have to look at China in return. So yes, this is uh, a, a potential major game changer as far as China's relationship with Russia is concerned, but also its relationship with us in the free world. Yeah. What would China gain from it? Uh, you know, a lot of people thinking they've, they've got enough on their plate with Taiwan uh, in terms of their relationships with the United States, apart from opening up a difficulty on, on two fronts, if it were. Well, I'd agree with you. Obviously, uh, it, it wouldn't make necessarily strategic sense for the Chinese. But the two things that matter here probably are business sense. Um, the Chinese, as you know, have been helping the Russians evade sanctions already. And they've uh, taken full advantage of lower prices for Russian uh, oil, for example, to, uh, to stock up on that. So here's another potential market, this time for weapons. So there is that side of things. And the second side is, um, do, does China really want, if you like, the free world to win uh, in the Russia-Ukraine uh, contest? Yes, sure. Sure, if they open up a second front, that's not going to look good for them with the Americans. But then again, uh, Russia slinking away, having attacked uh, Ukraine, doesn't bode well for their future chances, potentially, yeah. in terms of attacking Taiwan. And in terms of, of guns and bullets, could it actually change the whole situation? We, we learn about the difficulties that NATO's got um, resupplying the stockpiles and, and the rate that Ukraine is, is going through ammunition. Uh, presumably, the Chinese have got you know, pretty substantial stockpiles. Well, they've got a very large army, and that army has obviously uh, uh, lived off of uh, a very large ammunition dump as well. That could easily be transferred, and you're right. That would make a significant difference, A, to Russia's ability to actually prosecute the war, but B, this whole question of being able to resupply uh, the Ukrainians. Now, it's not; it wouldn't be on its own uh, the end of the war in one fell swoop, but it would make the Ukrainians uh, uh, sort of battle a, a lot harder than uh, if the Chinese didn't get involved. So given that, the significance of this announcement, first of all, by uh, America, this uh, uh, half a million, uh, half a billion uh, dollars, rather, in terms of ammunition and, and howitzers and javelin missiles and so on, that's quite a lot of kit. Yes. I mean, the Americans are doubling down, showing everyone. And I think part of this is in relation also to the Chinese gambit saying, don't think you can stick your nose into this conflict. If you do, you're going to come face to face with us in this. It's a clear message. Number one, we are redoubling our support for Ukraine. We want Ukraine to be able to defend itself properly and to push back the invasion. But it's also a subtle message or not so subtle to the Chinese to say, stay out of this. This is not your fight. Yeah. Dr. Alan Mendoza from the Henry Jackson Society, thank you very much indeed uh, for bringing us your analysis on that.